Hey y'all, it's time for Vlogmas Day 2, or if you're following along, Maker Advent Calendar <laughs> Day 2. Um, so we're going to start with the Maker Advent Calendar first, and then we'll move into Vlogmas. So, well this is technically part of Vlogmas, right? So yesterday we put together the beginnings of a little junk journal thing that we're going to make. Um, and today, now the rest of your... Uh, uh, day two, three, and four, they're going to be in see-through packages, and they were in the bag with this that was wrapped. So, you're probably going to have to, they do have a number on them. Uh, you're going to see what's in the bags to be able to figure out what the number is. I tried to put them in order, but who knows how that stayed during shipping. So, anyway, for day two, our little kind of clue is write and make patterns. That's what it says. So, so this is what... You have in day two, you got a metallic marker, uh, or it says a craft work pen, but you either got silver or gold. So I had some silver and gold. Um, this is a silver one, so you you may have a gold one, and then you also got a an Arteza roller ball pen. All these pens, I've used one of them, and they I love them so far. So so there's that. But then you also got. Two stencils. Um, these are the ones I had left over. So you got two. I tried to pair some patterns that kind of worked well together because you could layer them or however you wanted to do it. So you got two stencils and then you got uh, a paint. This is more like a paint marker. It says pen, but it, it's more like a paint marker. It's not a paint marker necessarily, but it's more like a marker, a metallic marker. And then this is a roller bar pen, roller ball pen. Let's not get tongue tied again today. Um, so you can put, you can use it to journal in your junk journal or to, oops, don't focus. It does not want to focus on that. There we go. There we go. Or you can use it to, uh, to do doodles with and stuff too. And like I said, this is our marker pen. So it's not a paint pen because you don't have to press it to get it to work like a paint pen would do. Um, it's already there. So like I said, you'll have either silver or gold. So what we can do, let's see, I'm going to get two stencils so you can layer them or you can do whatever you want to with them, really. I am going to, on the front of mine, I kind of want to do... So, if you already have this fit together, and you don't want to get the other pages, you just kind of fold it out like this, okay? I want to put it kind of like it's going off the page, like it's, or off the, the front cover here. And then I'm just going to take this. Now, you're going to want to hold this down while you do this, because uh, it can bleed pretty easy, but, yeah, we can just do our little... Lines. I just don't want to press too hard because it'll make the stencil move. Um, this is a pretty flat stencil. La 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 la. I had to pick one with lots of dots and stuff, didn't I? But it's gonna look really cool. So I wouldn't, what I would say is don't like press super hard with this. Um, just do light because if you press too hard, you can mess up the tip, especially when you're um, using it on a little bit of a rougher surface like this chipboard is. Chipboard is a rougher surface than regular paper. So you're probably going to feel that when you when you do this. So I'm only going to do the outside portion of this with my silver marker. Hopefully these will last. Give them a little shake. I hope they don't like run out super fast. I don't know. I've never used these kind before. So almost there. 
look at there. So see, you can kind of use it. I think these are shinier than the rest of them. I'm not sure why. Is this? Yeah, sometimes you got to give it a good shake to get more to come out. Hopefully these will last a good little bit. But for some reason, those look much shinier than my other ones. Maybe it's just the light. So. And what I can also do, if I want to, and put this back on here. Come on, little thing. I got it about as even as I can. I could go in. Pour some contrast and do these with my rollerball pen. I'm not going to fill them in. I'm just going to trace them if I can see what I'm doing. Well, that was kind of crazy looking, but that's okay. It ain't got to be perfect, does it? It's a junk journal. And they... You take some time... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sniffling. Came in from cold to hot. Look at there, isn't that neat looking? I like the way that looks. It's on the front of my little page. And I kind of went off the side like that. It kind of looks like a snowflake, doesn't it, or something. So, y'all can have fun decorating your front cover or whatever page in here you want to do. You probably don't want to use it on something patterned already. But these other ones, you'll find that the marker is not as grippy if that makes any sense because you got uh, a less textured surface than that chipboard. I'm going to do the edge of this piece of paper. Like I said, if you don't want it on the other pages, well, I don't think this silver is lasting very long, is it? That's going to make me mad. Where is the I'm gonna shake. I feel like the glimmer has gone from my marker already. I hope that doesn't happen to everybody. I'm gonna be very disappointed. But I just kind of went on the edge there with that. Kind of give it a gilded edge. It doesn't look very gilded, though, does it? Because this thing feels like it's not shiny like it was in the beginning. I don't know why that is. Anyhow, you can do things like that if you want. You can take, I have some other ones over here. So this is a contrast. Oh, this kind of looks like a, what you call it, a compass to me. might be kind of cool if we did like part of this with the black hopefully this is not too long and quiet for y'all when I watch it back Concentrating, I'm concentrating. I think I want to do something like I'm just kind of adding some little bits of black in here, and then I'm gonna go back over it with my silver. I'll see how that looks. Beep, 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 beep. Mm. You'll have to let me know how the gold ones work out. This silver one seems like it was only shiny for a minute. And this feels like it, when it dries, it goes away. Sad. I hope y'all's does better. 
Then again, it could just be the angle that I'm at. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Making sound effects. Somebody said something about sound effects yesterday in my comments. <laughs> Then I gotta make some sound effects. How about that? Alright, let's see what it looks like. Oh, I like the way that looks. It looks pretty cool. It does have some shimmer to it. I think a mosquito just flew by. I mean, come on, it's cold, mosquito. You're supposed to be gone. <laughs> yeah. So, you can do however you want with the stencils you got. What am I... I'm trying to stick the wrong cap on the wrong pen, y'all. <laughs> If you have your own markers and things you can add to it um you can certainly do i want to see what it does on this i'm just going to do a corner oh yeah that looks kind of cool look i'm just going to make up a little corner <laughs> could y'all even see that i'm just dead corner you know how they have those little corner things you can put stuff in sometimes yeah look at that that looks kind of cool yeah look at there so y'all have fun with your stencils and your little marking tools and put you some patterns in here you can do whatever you want to do it's your junk journal again right remember where'd my front page go there we go i really like how this one turned out yeah, it's shiny if I do the light, but this still at the beginning was shinier than the rest of it. But hopefully y'all's pens do better. You give them a good shake. It's shiny. I'd like to see what the gold pens. Oh, and if y'all want to share your progress on anything you're doing with the Maker Advent Calendar, you can tag me on Instagram or face in my Facebook group, my T Dolls Makers Facebook group, which is down below. The link is down below. Or on Instagram, and you can use uh, just hashtag Maker Advent Calendar. Okay, I don't think anybody will have anything like that. So there we go. I'll put that hashtag down, hashtag down below so y'all can remember. Okay, so let's go see what else I did today. All right. Hey, <laughs> it's Vlogmas Day One. I think I said that already, probably in the first part, which I just did technically. I haven't recorded anything else today but this because I haven't had a chance to. So while I'm at work, I probably will only have an end of a day recap kind of thing. When I'm off, I'll probably have time to film more things during the day. Okay. So I am still tired. Still tired. Um, I've got my farm hair. You can't see that because it's on the side of the mug. Farm hair don't care mug today. Because my hair had decided to go off on its own tangent. I tried to fix it this morning. It is frizzle frazzle. Time for a trim. Yeah. I'm trying to let it grow out a little bit. And which I do in the wintertime sometimes. Just because it's not as hot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I need to go get. I need to talk. I need to be talking to my friend about a haircut. My hairdresser friend. Yeah. Um, so I have a chai latte in here and I added pumpkin spice, Starbucks pumpkin spice creamer that I had in the fridge. It's really good. <laughs> oh, yes. No, my dog keeps waking me up in the middle of the night. I don't know. I tried to keep her in my room last night. She was like, she just gets up and walks around. And she, she can't figure out how to get back under her blanket I put on the floor for her. And then I have to put it on her so she'll go back to sleep. And, oh my gosh. It's driving me insane. She had stopped doing that. And she started doing it again. I, I don't know what her deal is. I got something in my eye, y'all. Something's going on. I don't know. I, anyway, I put on my yarn chicken shirt. These are... For sale in my Teespring shop. There's a link down below. I don't have one of those fancy banners. You gotta have like 10,000 followers to get that. So, um, I think I'm getting, I don't know. I was over 1,700 last time I checked. I'm gonna get 2,000 for the end of the year. That would be pretty awesome. 
just maybe that'll happen we'll see <laughs> but you can get these in my teespring shop this is something that i came up with and that my son designed for me uh the yarn chicken you know the yarn chicken who's always trying to run away with the end of our yarn yeah um this is the unisex tea uh in the tri blend and this is very you can kind of see how thin and lightweight and comfy oh they cost a little more but they're so, so much better teas they don't shrink and they just are comfortable and lightweight i just love them so and then i have on one of my cardigans i made this is cozy cozy comfy this was a kit i got off craftsy before it became blueprint and then became craftsy again <laughs> so this is made with sprightly yarn and now they don't sell that anymore so those people who are in my yarn in my uh, bag club yeah they got some yarn chunky yarn is part of their club this month from my stash and some of y'all got sprightly yarn and they don't make that anymore so i must really love y'all <laughs> everybody gets sprightly i had a bunch of different kinds it was mostly bulky but i had a couple i had to go to worse's weight because i ran out of bulky I can't believe that. Well, I had some other bulky, but it was not stuff I wanted to give away. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, this was misty purple, the colorway. I love this yarn, and I've made several projects out of it, so that's why I decided to... I had a stash of, of all the different colors I had bought at the end when they were clearing it out. I decided to gift it. I do have a few, a few left. Just a few. I didn't give anybody the black because, you know, nobody likes black yarn. I mean, stuff made in black yarn can look cool, but it's a pain in the butt to work with, isn't it? It's so dark. You gotta have a bright light so you can see what you're doing. Anyway. Um, yeah, this was a... I believe you can still get this pattern from the designer, so I will look that up and see if I can, can uh, put a link for that here. It's got a lot of fuzzes on it, but um, I really like this super soft and squishy and comfy so that's what i'm wearing today well that's not what i wore to work that's what i put on when i come home i was gonna put my but first coffee sweatshirt on again because i only wore it yesterday afternoon but i decided y'all would like to see something different so <laughs> y'all probably could care less but anyway so today i did get to wear because it's still cold here one of the cowls I made. I was going to show it to you. This is the Pothole Cowl. Um, I believe it's by Melody. It's Melody something. I can't remember. But I'll put a link to the pattern down below. But I made this with a skein of yarn. I got from Southern Skeins Yarn. It is. Uh, it was a blend. I can't remember what it was now. That's terrible. I got the tags somewhere. I saved the tags. But I don't. <laughs> It's a watercolor, and it's, I got another one over there, too, actually. Is that it right on top over there? Hold on a second, I'll see. All right, yeah. Because I have a whole other skein, and the rest of that skein, and it is, watercolor is the name. It was Alpaca Silk Cloud, so it's 40% baby alpaca, 40% merino, and 20% silk. And it was a, uh, what is this? I don't know. It's. I think this was like a worsted weight or something. Anyway, I really like it. I like how it turned out. It's so soft and squishy. So I wore this today with, with another top I had. So I just thought I'd share that with y'all. I'll put links down below. I'll put links to Southern Skeins, uh, but she probably doesn't have that particular yarn at this moment done. She has some other fabulous yarns you can take a look at. Um, so I sat down. Y'all, I've been trying to finish that cardigan I started. I've got another sweater I'd really like to finish to wear cold weather, so I'm probably going to wind up the rest of that yarn this weekend to do. But anyway, I decided to start with this dishy yarn last night and see what I could do with it. This is one skein. And this is just like a lemon peel stitch or whatever you want to call it where you do 
I've seen it called a bunch of different things, but you do like a single crochet, a half double, single, half double, and then you do the opposite. That's all it was. So I think I, I think I did 20 rows or 20 beginning stitches and then just did this. And this is one whole skein. Now the very top row, I just did single crochet, just to use up that last bit of yarn. Uh, so, yeah, it makes it very heavy. This would be a good hot pad because it is 100% cotton. So, it's nice and thick. It's squishy because it's such a bulky yarn. So, with the second one, I started this one, which I did less rows. And I just did front and back half double crochet. Like, front and back loop half double crochet to give it that ribbed look. And I've started going uh, I'm gonna go around it until I finish up the rest of my yarn so it's kind of square now and I didn't want to make it a rectangle so so that is what I was doing and I would have finished this but I pulled out the edging once because I didn't like the way it looked and it's thicker yarn so it just it wears on my hands quicker so and I got tired and I'm like I'm going to bed so because I was watching, there's a new series on Netflix called Virgin River. I'm really enjoying that. It's pretty good. So, if you haven't watched that one yet, I recommend it. It's kind of a, like, drama, I guess. Would you say drama series? But it's, it's interesting. I like it. So, I'll go check it out. What else? I got some package. Oh, yesterday somebody said something about they were waiting for me to show my new shoes. So I'll show them if somebody wants to see them. I did wear these today. These these are work shoes. I got them for work shoes. But these are Ancon Sports. They're pretty comfy. They are in navy. Um, a little detail right there on the side. So the bottoms are going to be dirty because I lost them. But this is one pair I got. And then I got this pair, which is like these little, y'all yeah, can't see that because the box is in the way. You know, okay. They could probably be more for summertime, but they were cute and a good price. They make little, just slide on tennises. They got this like elastic -y part that helps them stay on and they got this cool. I didn't even notice this when I ordered them, but that made them even neater. I don't know how. They have, like, pictures of all the shoes. All sides of the shoe on that website. But these are Roxy. Pretty comfy. And you know what I like about these the most? Because they got this nice round toe. They don't make my foot look like a ski because I have big feet. <laughs> most time when I get shoes like this, because they have a very narrow, they, they just make my feet look huge. Um, I wear a size 10 in ladies, um, which is fairly large. Uh, for a lady <laughs> but I mean it would be kind of weird if I had smaller feet than some like 5'8 and I you know it just matches my brain I always say that so they are comfy I like them but these would be more because you don't want to wear socks with them so these would be more like something for summertime but I got them from DSW, which I love shoe shopping at DSW. I have been to the actual an actual store. They have one in Macon, which is about an hour plus for me, something like that. And which I haven't been there in forever. Of course, I recently just purchased several new sh shoes and stuff because I'm just. Uh, Okay, I thought that had stopped recording, but I got a phone call from some number I don't know. I keep getting spammy phone calls. I swear there was one number that called me. It was calling me like twice a day for like three or four days in a row. And I looked it up because they never left a message. If you don't leave me a message, I'm not going to answer the phone. I don't care. Because if you want to talk with me, you will leave a message if I don't know your number. That's the way I feel about it. <laughs> so, and it said it was some kind of spam that, or I don't know. I was talking about my extended warranty is about to expire. Some vague mess like that. Or sometimes I don't even say what the warranty is for. It's like, what are you talking about? 
Anywho, what was I talking about? Talking about my shoes. DSW. Black Friday, they had a 30% off coupon. And if you spent $39 or more, you get this free big bag. Tote duffel bag thing. I haven't gotten that yet. But it's on the way. Uh, so, I got those two pairs of shoes in that big, huge duffel bag. Which is supposed to have a zippered bottom where you can put shoes in it. That's separate from the rest. Which is kind of cool. Um, I think it's about like 56 bucks. So, that was pretty awesome. Because I think shipping was free. For two pairs of shoes and a big duffel bag. Yeah. You get points and stuff if you never stop and shop there before. I just like... I just like that place. And you get a birthday gift, a little five dollar birthday thing and all kinds of stuff. So I used to buy all kinds of shoes. I used to have heels. I don't really wear heels anymore because I just can't I just can't. Uh now my boots I can have a heel, but it it's a wider heel, you know what I mean? And it's not like uh walking in heel heels. Um, so, and then for a long time I didn't buy any shoes, and I was like, I gotta have some new dress shoes and stuff, because they're just old. I mean, I don't even know how long I've had those shoes. <laughs> they, they were wore out. So, I just need some new shoes, so I got some new shoes. Anyway, y'all like to hear me talk about shoes, don't you? No, you don't. This is not a shoe show. This is a maker channel. Anyway, I also got a box in from Ulta. Because I, they had, what did they have? I could get this free big bag full of stuff and they had a coupon and, you know, that, all that stuff. So that's what I did. But I, uh, this is only part of it because only half of it's come in. But I was just going to show you, this right here, this Soap and Glory, Glory, Soap and Glory. Righteous Butter. I love this lotion. It took me forever to find, well, it's a body moisturizer, whatever. It feels great on my skin, and it has a nice, pleasant scent. It's not perfumey. It's not, like, some of them, they're just, oh, I can't even stand the smell of them. And it feels good on my skin, and it doesn't irritate my skin, because I have issues with psoriasis and eczema and stuff. This stuff right here, I love it. I'm just going to tell you. Soap and Glory. I think they sell that at Target too. And I also got some more scrub. I like their hand lotion too. I have their hand lotion too. Uh, it's in a different order. But I got two of these because they were like half price or something. And I got me two new poofs because I need some poofs. This is a it's 100% recycled Maddie. Okay. I like Poops is what I used to bathe with. I got two. And then I got I got several of these, but this is the only one that came in this box. Some tree hut scrub because they had it on super sale. This is a what is this? Mocha and coffee bean firming. It smells like coffee. I smell too. It does. And I got this little thing. I'm looking forward to trying this out. This is a daily detox brush. Oh, there is something in my eye still. It's like, it keeps moving around, and I think it's gone. And then it comes back. It needs to stop, because I'm almost done. And, these are the mask. I showed y'all yesterday. I got these, this five pack. Because they were on sale, too. Oh, uh, citrus. I like them. And then this is the free bag you got. We spent so much. Pom on it. I like four different ones to choose from. I, I got this one because I like the bag the best. It's stuffed with all kinds of stuff in there. Um, the perfume samples I won't use, but what was it? This thing. Okay, I got one of these. This makeup remover. It's you just add water to what wash your face with. I tried mine. I I hate that thing. I don't like the way that thing feels. But that's just me. Some people must like it because it's seems to be pretty popular, but I didn't like it. Um, and it came with this, which I'm dying to try. But I feel like I should wait because it's probably strong. This mushroom coffee mix with lion's mane. And it says think. So looking forward to trying that. 
but there's a bunch of stuff in there. I'm going to show you all this stuff. This is too much, right? So, one other thing I was going to show you all today. I'm going to try to get this oh. edited and up before... It took so long yesterday. The time I got it edited... If my stuff wasn't so slow, it would have been up by 7. But, anyway. So, it's going to be between 7 and 7.30. That's just what I'm going to say. This is the advent calendar I was talking about using for my dogs. I got an, a blank advent calendar kit. It like came with the this and the little these. They were blank. And then I decorated it. I painted it and decorated it. So it looked, yeah. To look kind of vintage. Because I like that look. Mm. So I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to put little treats in here for my daughter. I picked up some treats every day. And I'm going to see what they think about it. If they're going to be looking at it. Because my little dog. He has realized that. Because I have stockings for the dogs. And every year when I would hang the stockings up. My little dog would get so excited. Because he knows that I put toys in the stockings. <laughs> and he gets to play with them. Of course he, will, he thinks he's supposed to have it when I put it up. So I'm interested to see what he'll think about this. Okay, so they're owed a day already, right? But I'm going to give them an, another day today. Some of these fell on the floor. Yeah. Oh, my zero fell off of my number 10. But anyway, I just don't want to show you all that. It was fun to do. I used to use scrapbooking and stuff and paint. So... Usually you can get these at like Joann's or Michael's or something like that. So, that damn it. <laughs> Everything's falling. It's all falling apart, y'all. It's all falling apart. But anyway, I miss it too. Just be done with this and I'll talk to y'all again tomorrow, okay? Uh... Maybe I'll have something else to show y'all. I felt like I had something else I wanted to talk to y'all about. And I can't remember what it is now. So, until tomorrow. Y'all remember to have a life with Creative. And I'll see y'all then. Bye. <laughs>